I think the most important thing in a game's design is the look of the game. The default look of a place might seem normal, but with adding lighting service effects, you'll see the difference. You can add them with clicking the plus icon near lighting service. These effects can also be added to a camera object. I'll add color correction first, because it is the most important one in my opinion. Here you can adjust contrast, brightness, and saturation. I usually leave tint color as default. Play around with values a bit, and try to find the perfect color depending on your game's design. Keep in mind, that these values will apply for every player in game, and, color space you are using is sRGB, so if you want to have perfect color accuracy, you need to have a monitor with good sRGB coverage. After color correcting the game, it looks awesome now. Here's a quick comparison. Difference is clear. There are other effects too, such as depth of field. It blurs the parts of scene not in focus. You can see what these properties change. And we have the blur effect. Self-explanative, just blurs the screen. Next one is sun rays effect. You can set the intensity and spread of sun rays. Next one is bloom effect. This effect increases glow of objects. This is a really good effect, if you find some glowing objects such as neon parts too bright or dull. Just find values that fits your game and that's it basically. That was it for this video. Hope you understood, see you in another one.